a question I get asked all the time is, how much is it going to cost me to sell my home? Or how much equity do I have? Now, we provide free home equity reports, or we give these home equity reports to our clients as a gift. And so if you're looking for a breakdown of exactly what all the costs are that it's going to cost you to sell, whether it's title fees, lender fees, commissions, repairs, survey, all the different things that make up the closing costs on a seller side, we can break that down for you. And, and if, although we work mostly in Texas and New Mexico, we've got partners all over the country that can do these same home equity reports for you. So reach out if we can help you with that. But let me give you a quick formula that will help you to estimate what your costs are going to be. In general, I've seen closing costs around 7 to 9%. And yet, there's a few different things that may count as closing costs that you don't think of traditionally as closing costs. For example, if you do a pre-inspection or you decide to do repairs or staging ahead of time, those are things that are costs associated with selling your home, but they don't show up on the closing statement. You don't, they don't get subtracted at the closing. So it's important to, to really think about what costs do I have around selling? I've got moving expenses, I've got other things. And so really, costs could be as high as 10%. Now, one of the other things that you that people don't always think about is some of the costs you're paying at closing, like a proration of taxes or another fee that you might need to pay, may have already been collected by your mortgage company. So you may be getting a reimbursement for those costs from what might have been a monthly cost in your mortgage payment, and that's going to come back to you in your escrow payment. So there's a number of different things that plus and minus what your actual closing costs are. If you want a full breakdown of what those things are, you want to get a home equity report from your local realtor, someone who's one of the best realtors in your area. At the same time, if you're just trying to do some quick math and you wonder how much is it going to cost me to sell, I recommend using the 10% number. It's a quick, easy math equation. So if you're going to sell your house for 500,000, assume it's going to cost you 50,000 to sell. You have $450,000 to then apply to whatever mortgage you have, and then the rest is yours left over. Now, one thing that people make the mistake of is they look at the balance on their loan detail page and they don't think about what the actual payoff is. Remember that your payoff is always several thousand dollars higher than your actual balance. And the reason for that is your, mor your mortgage interest is paid in arrears, which means it's always paid the month after it actually occurred. When you close, you pay off that loan balance plus whatever mortgage interest you haven't paid for yet. So your loan payoff is always a little bit higher than your mortgage balance. That's one of the things to take into consideration when you're calculating your net income from selling your property. If you're thinking about selling your home or you're trying to figure out how much do I have in equity, feel free to reach out to us. We can help you or connect you with one of our partners nationwide. Just email me, templeton at kw.com, and I'd be happy to help you with figuring out how much equity do I have in my home and how much is it going to cost me to sell in today's market?